So today we'll be reviewing all the popular items from a gas station that is said to have some of the best food that has ever came out of a gas station. Sheets. Starting off with the app sampler. This is an app sampler. I got the three most popular items, which is chicken tenders, mozzarella sticks, and tater tots. Mm, this ranch slap though. So the app sampler ain't that bad. The tater tots, super basic. You can tell they just threw these in the fryer and just said, basically, it. No seasoning, no salt, no nothing. These chicken tenders right here, not bad. These are breaded and very meaty. Very, very meaty. Mm. Now the mozzarella sticks are straight slap. Not sure what type of bread they use on the mozzarella sticks, but it is definitely good. Nice and crunchy, very cheesy. Y'all should've used the same seasoning on these daggum whack ass tater tots. But it's all good. The app sample overall, I give it a seven. This is gonna be very interesting. This is a sausage biscuit with an egg patty. Never in my life have I had a biscuit from a gas station. Mm. Oh, this ain't, this ain't bad. Yo. Not the best biscuit, but for darn sure it's not the worst. The bread tastes fresh, the sausage tastes fresh, the egg is fresh, and it is a nice size freaking biscuit. Mm. Kinda put me in the mind of McDonald's biscuits. I'll give this a seven. Haven't had croissants in a while. This is a breakfast croissant with bacon and egg on it. Now this right here look like somebody just freaking sat on it, man. Mm. All right, not bad for a croissant. The bread is fresh, the bacon is nice and crunchy, the egg is fresh. Besides the fact that this looks like somebody's been laying on this daggum thing, this is actually not bad at all. Eight. Pretty good though. Here's the BS right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a waffle. Okay, now hear me out. I was trying to order a waffle sandwich, but I forgot to add the toppings to the waffle. This is totally my fault. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God, I'm mm. mm -hmm. Get them the hell out of here, will you please? Zero. Let's start off with the hot doggy dogs. This is called the Bratwurst. I'm not sure what that means, but whatever. It's okay. So the other sandwich looks like somebody laid on it. This right here, I'm convinced it's been sat on. You hear me? I mean, it is toppings just busting out the bando. The hot dog is very juicy. The toppings are very fresh. Definitely an above average hot dog coming from a gas station. I'm giving this a seven. Italiano sausage. Italian sausage hot dog with sauerkraut, onions, and peppers. Mm. My God, my God. Never thought a gas station like this would have such high quality hot dogs and such a broad variety of toppings to choose from. I got sauerkraut and peppers on here, man, but they got chili, sauerkraut, peppers, freaking Dr. Pepper sauce. They got it all. Definitely the type of sausage that should be in everybody's mouth. I'm gonna go ahead and get this an eight. This is a, a burger snack wrap. This is basically a tortilla wrap burger with caramelized onions, cheddar cheese, and boom boom sauce. Okay. Mm. So I gotta give it to you, this is a pretty good concept. Took a big fat patty and wrapped up in tortilla wrap. Ain't nobody doing it these days, so good job on that. When it comes to the quality of that fat patty that you wrapped up in tortilla wrap, it's low. The patty is not seasoned and the patty has a weird texture. I'm not feeling it. So yeah, I give this a five. This is the Boss Burger with Boom Boom Sauce, Lettuce, Tomato. Oh, this burger right here ain't bad, man. Obviously, we've already discussed that the burger patty at this gas station is just completely trash. But if this burger patty was seasoned, this would be a very dope burger. Very juicy, packed with a lot of toppings. Boom Boom Sauce is on point. Overall, a great concept. I got two problems with this burger right here. For one, bun's not toasted. I love toasted, buttery buns. Two, I got two bottom pieces of bread. Not that big of a problem, but I would love to have a top piece and a bottom piece, because that's how you make a freaking burger. I'll let you slide this time. Uh, you know, I I'll give this a seven. Big mozzarella burger. This is a mozzarella burger with marinara, provolone cheese, and mozzarella sticks. Interesting. Mm. This is okay. It's pretty genius to put mozzarella sticks, marinara, and provolone cheese on a burger. But does this burger look as good as it tastes? I'll go ahead and say yes. I mean, the marinara sauce is really making this thing taste good, man. Ooh, you did say that these buns are toasted. No, they're not. They're just freaking not toasted. Why'd you lie to me? The last burger, I got two bottom pieces. This one, I got two top pieces. Now, who in the hell is back there that don't know their top from their bottom? Huh? May not be a big deal to you, but it's a huge deal to me. I like a top half and a bottom half. So yeah, get it right. I'm giving it a six. Okay, yeah, these are chicken sliders. These are chicken sliders, but the unique thing about this is these are chicken sliders with Dr. Pepper sauce. Yeah, I don't know what that, uh -huh. Oh my God. Dr. Pepper sauce is definitely smack. If you like Dr. Pepper, I'm telling you right now, it tastes just like Dr. Pepper, but a nice light sweet sauce. Definitely something you should bring to a cookout or something you should eat after you finish slapping cheeks. I guess eight. Kicking chicken, the hell is this? Apparently this is an English muffin with chicken sausage, egg white, and it's toasted with pepper jack cheese and habanero sauce. So a lot going on with this muffin right now. Mm, a whole lot of nothing. I'm quite sure who keeps dropping the ball on these sandwiches right here, but this sandwich is another sandwich that says toasted, but it's not. And toasted buns definitely make a difference. But chicken sausage, eh, it's all right, I guess, for 
gas station. English muffin egg whites, yeah, they're pretty decent. I was expecting habanero sauce to be hot, but it's not, which I mean, I can get jiggy with it. Overall sandwich, I'll rate it a six. Come here, flatbread, come to death. This is a flatbread ham, egg white, caramelized onions, cooked peppers, toasted. Here goes that word, toasted again. Mm. Oh my God, this is good. So for one, can we all agree that flatbread on the top just looks kind of weird? The bubbles look like a STD, but I, I, that's a topic for another day. But as far as the juiciness, the quality, the ingredients of this flatbed right here, ladies and gentlemen, flat bread, it is on point. I give it a nine. Damn! So this is a chicken tender half sub. This is a half sub. I can't imagine how the whole one looks. Mm. Oh man, this is, this is all right. When it comes to subs, this gas station has some of the best subs you'll ever eat. Especially this one. They give you three big baby leg sized chicken tenders. This is, whew, this is a lot. So if you wonder if you need to get a full or a half, don't be a fat lard, just get a half, okay? Eight. The only gas station I know that has a freaking Mexican set. This is the taco bowl, ladies and gentlemen. I know the presentation looks a little off and I was walking up the stairs, I almost slipped and bust my ass and it just went flying everywhere. Mm. Mmm, Chipotle, she's coming for y'all ass. The only thing Chipotle has over this bowl right here is the freaking meat. Very expensive people back there handling that meat back there, Chipotle. Can we all agree? So, sheets, you gotta up your meat game. Definitely good, I'll order this again. Mmm, this is a nine. Damn. Mmm, quesadilla! This is a steak quesadilla. Quesadilla always goes in rain. Ooh, it's decent. As I said time and time again, sheets has a problem with their quality of meat. Meat. So dad, don't if they get their meat right, mm. cause the meat on this quesadilla right here, I ain't gonna lie, it low-key tastes like dog food. So, mm, I'm giving this a five. So this quesadilla has grilled chicken, tater tot, sour cream, jalapeno, ranch, lettuce, and diced onions. Wow, this thing is like seven inches. That's bigger than the average penis. Mm. Oh my God. Oh. It looks like a double wrap burrito, but within the double wrapping, it's just a big block of cheese. And in the middle, you have all your regular toppings that you have on a burrito. You got the beans, you got the rice, you got the chicken, you got the onions, you got the guacamole. And in my case, you have the tater tots. The fact that they give you the option to add tater tots to a burrito is just amazing. You know the tater tots really ain't hitting on shit. It's good to have an option. Mm. I definitely see why they call this the gas station with some of the best food, because mm, bussin'. I'm gonna miss a nine. So obviously the Sheets gas station when it comes to food is worlds ahead of a lot of gas stations. But if I had to choose between my favorites, it's definitely a top. That flatbread was bussin', all right? But also the freaking quesarita was good too. But if I had to choose, I'd have to go with the quesarita, man. Quesarita was just so big. Again, it was about seven, seven and a half inches long. And it was just very, very filling. If I had to choose my least favorite, it would have to be the freaking waffle. I understand I didn't freaking uh, order any chicken or toppings on with that, but the waffle itself is just garbage, okay? I understand this is a gas station, but but damn. So this particular sheet store is in my hometown, Greensboro, North Carolina, off of Hornaday, and I gotta give a special shout out to Essence. Essence was the shiz naive. Everything that I just ate today was basically what she handpicked out for me. She helped me look through the menu. She was very diligent. She was very patient. She was just off the freaking meters. So Essence, if you're watching this video, I appreciate you. If there's a Sheets in your area, drop your favorite meal that you like to eat from Sheets in the comments below. And also any restaurants you would like to me review, please let me know in the comments as well. Please! And until next time, holla!